Welcome everyone to another Linux and open source live stream here on this channel. Some weeks ago we made a couple of videos. One video was the already deleted Linux kernel developers found their code quality lacking. They and full of bugs they deleted. Um, was it soft scrolling or something? And now uh, they are at it again. And uh, frame buffer console stuff disabled isolated scrolling. So as Dan, uh, Daniel Vetter writes here, it's ever since sites bot discovered FBCon, we have solid proof that it's full of bugs. And I, um, and there it just reads this code, removes the features, uh, FBCon on. So this is isolated like bit build here, scrolling. Uh, if your text scrolls like um, this fine stuff here, just on the console, then um, use hardware isolation. So it turns out not many drivers use this. So the problem is most modern niche drivers really only treat FBCon as a dumb kernel console. User space takes over and uh, oops and so on. And apparently there are only three drivers that support this kind of isolation. Uh, Nuevo. Um, OMAP, DRM, and GMA500 of the Sony YOP previous video and still further to be reverse engineered. Don't quite, this is also new to me that apparently they're getting deleted now, not sure what they mean with that. Um, delete the whole GMA500, but the, which does very little anyway because you no know, 3D support. But I'm um, not sure what they mean there, whether the whole driver or just acceleration uh, um, and the acceleration copy error never sets uh, copy error flag uh, so unused could delete already thing uh. so why do i uh, make another live stream about this for me this is the biggest proof also what i said in many videos that the single address space monolithic linux kernel written in the not very memory safe <coughs> not very, not, not at all memory safe language that is C. It's not a good idea to write complex stuff in C. It's even a less good idea to write a whole monolithic kernel uh, in 2000 or 2020. In C or not C, in my opinion. Also, yeah, what is funny, so the Linux kernel of monolithic kernel and C and single address space for performance, 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 like, yeah, and it's full of bugs. But the other thing is also basically what they say is like, yeah, it's too complex for kernel and stuff and nobody cares and user space takes over. And then we have here the uh, alertity or something of fastest accelerated. Yeah, then we do a user space acceleration of fastest terminals in 2020 with because performance performance. So if we take this as another example, um, a lot of things, I want to summarize a lot of things in the open source space are just not as amazing as some people want it to pretend to be. And um, for me this is already apparent for over a decade. Um, I'm over 20 years on Linux and after the first honeymoon of I was young and naive and it was amazing to have a whole Unix, which I before I discovered Linux never heard about this before, um, that of course in the beginning like 1996-ish to, to 2006 is like, hey, open source, everything is amazing, until um, I finished more studying computer science and stuff and got more uh, more experience and the more experience and knowledge and research and development, I came to the conclusion like, oh my god, all this Linux, Unix, and Unix inherited kind of it's not only the kernel, right? Like I previously said, even the user space, everything written in C, from core utils, from LS, to the shell, to basically everything. It was, in my opinion, already not state of the art in 2000, and we are now two decades later in 2020. And so mostly, like, don't trust me, listen to the Linux kernel developers who constantly delete features and find major bugs. And also, similar to this Urban Dunver, that is the Xox server of previous videos, here is some one more thing. It's basically the same. So it's a summary and you would think as a general proposed open source concept of some years or 30 years and a thousand or 10,000 eyes and it's bug free. It's like, yeah, 
Um, 30 years later, we delete all the fancy features because, oops, they are full of bugs. So much to the three decades of code review and some 10 or 100,000 eyes who scrolled over that. Uh, must be amazing language, this uh, C. But even if we look outside of my general critique here of single address based monolithic Unix kernel, that is Linux. One more note here from Ajax on the Urban Dunware that is the Exoc server. And um, this is also underlying a couple of things I said already previously a year ago, like our struggle here at Exacode already a decade ago, like we with T2 and other of our projects to make a living and open source um, embedded projects that was always extremely difficult. But let's take a look here. So don't trust me on that. Also factor in all the Xorg and Linux kernel developers who come to some conclusion, except the only thing says the right stuff in C, but um, that is another thing Rust and other stuff probably tackles. So Ajax writes here, being in recent discussion, discussions on whether the Xorg service have done where as a person arguably most responsible for its care and uh, feeding over the last 15 years or so. I feel like having something to say about this thing, but being a maintainer of a public facing projects for nearly a uh, whole of your professional career, it's difficult to separate your own story from the project. It's like, yeah, yada, yada, started working, X uh, something, software, opportunity capabilities really matter, I feel privileged to be able to give them back and um, something. So X works extremely well for what it is. Um, well, works extremely well, similar to uh, like as long as you don't look too much and um, and it's not crashing and stuff. And after deleting all the accelerated architecture stuff, but yeah, works extremely uh, well for what it does. Um, uh, where was it? Um, for what it is, but what it is is deeply flawed. There's no shame in that. And. 33 year old and still relevant. It's like similar to the Linux kernel. Um, it works extremely well for what it is, but it's deeply flawed. Uh, single address base, C language, uh, gets a recurring idea. And this is also the Xorg server here using it to drive your display hardware um, and multiplex input devices choosing to make your life worse. It is, however, uniquely well suited for a very long time as an application compatibility layer like XWayland, for example, is uh, running here for right now, not much. As here the future of Wayland now, um, where everything except hotkeys work now. So, um, the issue there is um, how to get there, uh, real desire to get there while um, hardware-backed server code is a real thing, sorry, I worked on X386, this is a previous project that Xorg, for those who are new to this stuff, previously this was X386 for the first 15 years or so, until they forked this off due to the yeah, project differences. Very nearly as long as X386, C86, the project existed and I'm completely burned out on that on its own merits, let alone also yeah, open source developers or flagship projects, also I think probably um, employed at Red Hat or something, I guess, um, so if I recall correctly. So yeah, major open source stuff, um, majorly burned out. This is also a recurring theme, right? The big distributions only carrying so much, not sure how his work time schedule situation is if he is full-time working on that or if he is full-time working on other Red Hat support stuff and project and whatnot and needs to additionally maintain this in his free time which in general I find really disgusting especially in the open source world because everyone is yay open source but then nobody paying yeah, the recurring theme here not only us but others um, you get the idea, everyone's like, yeah, open source, but don't pay. I just had the other week another email. It's like basically every, e e nearly every open source engagement stuff, except you here on this channel, financing my fun work here with your view time and uh, Patreon and so on, or your super chats, which is super amazing. But yeah, other major projects struggle similarly. Of course, X386, uh, X386, Xorg, uh, extremely special organization and, and people behind that problematic situation. I've not been personally involved, but there's a lot of tension and and, and things um, and a lot of disagreement and frustration, which is also very sad. So, Exoc Amnanware extends means using it to actually control the display 
and not just keeping X applications around, he'd say yes, but X server is more than X386, so this is a hardware isolated thing, but X whale and X win, X cipher, X VNC, X uh, VFB, projects with real value and could not give up. Better way to say it can finally abandon the hardware isolated. So yeah, coming next, the next years to you, um, you heard it here first or on this blog, the support for your vintage hardware um, unless people like NetBSD or ourselves or something maintain it, uh, probably good, can say goodbye to you. X um, SGI Impact or um, O2 uh, and, and similar stuff drivers. Some sort of really sad, um, but so this underlines and summarizes a couple of things that I reiterate here. Even after 30 years, you would think of flagship projects like X or and the Linux kernel after 30 years and code refactoring and 10,000 if not 100,000 people reviewing this, you would each year improve the code quality and make it more amazing. But um, unfortunately, yeah, after 30 years, unfortunately not after 30 years, like, oh my God, the code is horrible. Um, let's just delete it because now YOLO, whatever, nobody is using isolated scrolling. And same for Xorg, I somehow wish, um, and yes, the code base is now, yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't even call the X or code base. I mean, I have high standards, but this is also funny, right? The C, C loving open source developers, like, oh my God, this X or code base is so horrible. I would actually personally, it's like, well, it's just a regular old fashioned C code. It's not like particular horrible. It's just for me, it's like, nah, I mean, it's sure. I can work with it. I work in, on the P3 on, um, the SJ impact and, and similar stuff. Sure, I can work in it, it works somewhat, but I would agree that it's not amazing, but it's funny that those people who otherwise do everything and see this is also ironic, right? Um, the replacement of XORG, you would think they, the, the next generation, they write in something at least C++ with a little bit classes and generics and so on, but and string handling, like more native, not string functions of zero terminated stuff and buffer over under running and manual pointer based parsing of stuff. But yeah, the replacement, I actually had unpacked it here somewhere because I wanted to make this video already yesterday. Um, that I have it here still laying, laying around. Um, so yeah, um, it's C, right? Um, no surprise there. It's uh, similar. Uh, sure, it's everything written new, but near yeah, it's like C with classes as of where C++ is too fancy for us. We just do structs manually of Wayland global ops. And by the way, I was, here was some, um, um, yeah, also stuff like with defines and I found here, by the way, the first time I looked here at something yesterday, I was already seeing some, not the super most amazing stuff. Um, all right. And I think there was also some, yeah, like let's print here some stuff to buffers. I mean, at least they use um, size of as in print of, of, yeah, size of. By the way, I slightly wonder since when this works, I usually only, I usually use um, brackets around this. But um, so yeah, as in print of like it's 1990. Um, yes, it's a, a N, but also, yeah, probably this buffer is large enough also 2020 of not checking whether they could print it in there, apparently. Certainly not the most vital pass here, but um, they don't do it that much, but a little bit. In general, it's also, yeah, as, as this, oh, you know, I mean, yes, this is, this is, I just open it and look at it. Um, and it's just not amazing, right? Also this, the usage. Um, even in my unsuccessful garbage projects, I don't have a hard-coded usage. So hard-coded usage is like, it's 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 a hard-coded text here. And um, so even in, uh, let's let's show you how this is more amazing, um, not only criticizes, so the problem is also, you find some people who only rant and have no, nothing productive to say. Um, and Rust or not, I would, with my own love and hate relationship with Rust, at least use 
And I also don't understand why those people hate C++, right? Sure, you don't need to use every feature in the kitchen sink, but if you want C for portability and stuff, at least use lightweight C++ for same string handling and stuff. Um, you don't need to, and, and like proper classes and not like structs with um, whatever. Um, so in, for example, uh, our open source exact image that is also already, so this code base is old. I've written it in 2005 and since then um, mostly maintained it to, to some degree. And um, so this is, in my opinion, how you um, should at least do uh, front end here, some front end. And e even with this, I'm not the super most satisfied um, and would do a little bit different. Let's hope that loads so knows with x -Wayland, but I think I also, all right, this is uh, slow lisp code. Um, of course, this, uh, this is also not uh, resizing the super most amazingly, apparently, because um, x -Wayland. So um, usage, oops. So of course we have some C++ class. The only thing hard coded here is some copyright thing. The rest is argument. Right? And yeah, this is not super amazing. Um, also, if I would do this new, uh, what this is doing, what it, what it is doing here is doing some type safe and auto fully automated generic argument parsing because I was a professional already in 2005. And um, so we have an argument list um, and at here, like generic argument things of different types of bools and string and stuff. And here's a help text. Um, the only thing is, yes, yeah, this is using some, as uh, this is only doing some tricks with multi-line stuff. Uh, usually you don't even need this new line tap tap thing here. Otherwise it's just like short and long, like dash a or dash dash append um, help text and stuff and, and binding this to some functions. So if this, this is a little bit more tricky than other stuff because this is, um, when this is passed to call some functor, um, so bind here arc, colorize to bind this, and it has a capitalization in 2005, I might ch my style changed a little bit since then, but whatever. But we recently have seen that other people use this style even today. And so what this is uh, also doing then, if, if this doesn't parse, then like print the usage to uh, some stream like arcless usage, like uh, we, we could print this print usage, but whatever. So this is auto generating this. So um, don't don't be surprised if a hard coded um, hard coded usage thing does not impress me for a new state of the art project. And yes, this is just I know it's just some scanner thing. And but if already just some scanner thing is uh, using this, then it's like yeah. Um, yeah, what do they do in shared memory? But long story short, I need my own graphic subsystem and um, and um, yeah. What do we have here? Have MFD and so otherwise, yeah, I'm not going to code review this here fully just here on this channel, but I just wanted to share how to do this a little bit nicer than completely crappy. Um, Someone ask link for Discord, link for Discord, we can also post. Um, but yeah, so basically don't trust me on my two cents here, um, which is probably this and invite um, to never expire and maybe copy and paste it there. So yeah, don't trust, oh, this is also not the full link, it's much to copy and yeah, this is only copy, thank you very much, only copy the not the full URL because it would be too simple in 2020. Um, but um, yeah, so, and what are we talking here? So don't trust my random, um, my random uh, ramblings here. Uh, also, first of all, read the sources yourself, educate you with some nice programming books, and then also listen to some other industry sources. Also, they might at times be a little bit biased, so apply some common sense there. And what is also so crazy is what, what are we talking here, right? This is, um, so this patch is by the way, not, not all, this is just like disabling that. This is certainly not all code to be uh, deleted because they can then delete in, in uh, Nuevo, in, in, uh, yeah, nu, nu, Nuevo, ah, oh, darn, I forgot. I probably need to learn my French. Um, my conclusion <laughs> from re recurrently failing to pronounce this, what I otherwise just call 
Novo, but Novo. Okay, for 2021, 20, I probably need to learn my French. Um, delete more, more of this code, probably some other infrastructure. But <clears throat> we're also talking about just a bloody single bit BLT, right? Something that even here is myself as this unsuccessful YouTuber here, live on YouTube, I've done for S3 Verge, uh, Voodoo ET4000, um, Silicon Motion Link 3D, where nobody ever has written an open source 3D driver. Um, number nine, imagine 128 revolution 3D. Um, previous videos where there exists some isolated X driver, but without 3D and we did the texturing because why not, at least I think I did. I theoretically also prepared 3D labs per media too. It does not fully work. Um, yet, I will probably finish that sometime soon. The problem is also that the card I got cheapish on eBay is some bloody Creative Labs 3D blaster or so with, with a really garbage BIOS that doesn't support uh, video BIOS extension thing, VBE for proper mode setting, which makes working with it a little bit harder than it should be. But so this this is just one bloody bit BLT, right? Just scroll the stuff a little bit. So this is, yeah. Um, what I will ne do next uh, for this programming series, beside I really like to get like hardware isolated stuff out of stuff, especially where like people otherwise have not necessarily done it, like Revolution, Revolution 3D, number nine there, and uh, especially the Silicon Motion Link 3D. I will also continue this here, of course, takes a while with P3 RSX, we will do this soon. This also means, given how up and done where that is, and I'm anyway not a fan of the C code base, so I'm certainly not volunteering to maintain that um, often up and done, not outstanding code quality in C. Um, however, uh, due to that and my hobby for the foreseeable future, um, just because it's fun, and I like to do it in general in some um, more quality way, is continuing writing my own 3D uh, graphic capable, like or 2D and 3D isolated graphic stack with support for really old vintage cards because just because we can, um, including stuff this was that was deleted by XOC in the meantime, they some years ago, like 10 years or 15 years, they deleted XAA, the previous X isolated architecture, since then they only have XRZ has no name, enhanced ex isolated architecture or something that only accelerates solid fills and no, fills and lines maybe, um, probably not lines, only solid fills and blends and copies, basically um, the, the modern blending stuff, which is also in many drivers rather lacking. So what I will do, because we also love to somewhat support our vintage machines and not full time, but sometimes, and uh, who knows, maybe my boy eventually um, in some 10 years likes to follow up on that uh, with some nice SGI obtains and stuff. Write a new, using my low level code here on YouTube, like a new graphic as well as subsystem also for the microkernel stuff that has, that supports not everything because I'm not crazy, like not bloody patterns, but at least Brisen, Brisenham lines. And um, because why not? Um, if you wanted to run vintage X or software, just at least partially isolated and solid fills, blending, and then the 3D stuff. And I will also um, continue sometime soon to get some more GL compatible API and massively clean up this code because my own low level code is not the most amazing because I used this um, C pointer like C pointer wrapping classing with Unreal protected mode to be able to run this low level on DOS. And um, due to that, the code is not the most amazing. If you would do this in a like 32 bit protected mode app without any 16 bit um, DOS stuff, remote stuff, you wouldn't have to do this stuff. So um, I will soon completely refactor this. I hope this should be mostly headache free because it's just converting this functor get set 1632 stuff to uh, proper pointers and then add some proper APIs. So this now that 
what took the longest, like 80% of the time, was fiddling with the low-level register bits on all those cards to actually get the stuff to work, especially on the Link 3D where um, it took me, where it wasn't documented that it was tiling and took me quite some days to this fiddling to because I was already wondering whether the texture unit works at all. Anyway, so for our microkernel, we have this chance. And the cool thing is that um, it would be too boring to do microkernel here every day. Um, and I have no illusion that this the whole thing takes years, obviously, especially on a 20% YouTube hobby project. But the cool thing is because it will be multi-server and stuff that we can reuse those components, not only in this microkernel, but also run this in Linux in user space and pure firmware like um, FPGA, RISC-V stuff or other, um, other RISC-V stuff. Maybe if I get this previous video unmatched RISC-V of sci-fi and um, high five stuff there, if I order this board, um, I mailed them actually, <laughs> their bloody sales email. Let's see if I get ever an, an email for this $565, which is obviously a little bit high, but it's one of its unmatched kind, obviously for high performance risk five today. Um, if I get that and writing firmware, it sure comes with firmware and Linux booting already, but certainly we need to test our own risk five T2 Linux. I'm certainly not running other distribution, um, certainly testing mine. T2 here. And maybe I do the extra efforts, depending on how much work it is, they have firmware on there, but whatever it is, not maybe if he, maybe not, maybe whatever they've done there. But maybe I use a chance um, either on this Risk Five, either on this FPGA ULIC 3S Risk Five Sox Saxon Sock, because this is running U boot and U boot is also C and yeah. Because previous video, all the drivers, right? You have the drivers in U boot and you have the drivers in Linux kernel, and my theory of an microkernel with nano kernel kind of hardware abstraction layer and only writing drivers once. Um, eventually I try this out on some platform, maybe the unmatched risk five thing. Anyway, I hope you learned something from that. Um, if all that you need to read the sources yourself and that even after 30 years, some of the flagship open source projects are still not totally super amazing, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, long story short, I will obviously, everything they deleted here, um, we will implement in our own graphics stack because obviously BitBLT and um, BitBLT and um, software scrolling and stuff. So yeah, and obviously we do this in a user space process. So um, we wouldn't have, because this is also right, you have the scrolling code in the kernel and you have scrolling code in your X term, your RXVT, your ala critty stuff, and yeah, certainly would be nice to have this only once. Um, and um, I will continue soon at that. And um, you could do this even relatively high performance, right? So, because if you bit BLT on whatever hardware, so bit BLT is like taking this um, whole text for scrolling. So, what do we even talk about? So, we have this in memory in the frame buffer, we want to scroll this a little bit, and this so like copy this stuff and like copy it up and then only blitz the next line so that it becomes visible. Really not too much code, right? And even this simple, I mean, how do you want to trust your single address space monolithic Linux kernel when even um, software and S-rated scrolling they can't implement? Um, yeah. Anyway, and so one issue with that is that I immediately see is if you hardware accelerate this bit BLT of blitting that up of, of raster data block transfer this up. Um, this might take some milliseconds and you can't write the next, the last, the next three visible lines because obviously the hardware is in that operation to copy it up, right? Um, one, one, one thing to, um, because so normally you would wait until this bit BLT operation is over so that you can blit to the next line. And one thing you could get around this is having a render render buffer for your current active um, text line. And while you bit, so you schedule your bit BLT. And by the way, I think if you would make one single, like not like frame buffer and DRM and, and whatnot, and just only one, one window, one graphic window server thing, you could also really 
optimize the heck out of it and like yeah with like acceleration only and stuff so you you schedule your bit blt and then um you schedule you you draw your text line um and schedule the, the final bit blt of the final line then you could even you don't even need to wait for that to complete you could even just continue other business as usual schedule back to the other process and stuff and let the graphic driver blitzes in order um, and uh, don't even need to wait necessarily if this is all fully isolated and so on um, but yeah anyway that's it for the summary wanted just to share this amazing news because you can never delete all oh, right i also wanted to there's a new linux kernel 592 and just as a last comments here of the quality of code what i've done here already often let's just like on a on a bug on a minor supposedly minor bug fix release of this monolithic single address based linux kernel written in c after 30 years of development for sure there are next to no problems in 5.9 right because in the 30 years of development and hundred thousand looked over this it's like here yeah, just revert so yeah power management hibernate remove bogus call also yeah 2020 592 remove bogus call to get gendisk and software resume um, effectively reverts some commit spi omap2 uh, not the most high profile but this reverts something switch to something uh, mode spent on polling something uh notes this effectively reverts of p w m lpss fix off by one error and yeah off by one we'll come to this anyway revert media uh, xe nox4 at missed check for pin control lookup state logdap revert logdap use raw cpu for per cpu variable i mean there yeah, is uh, is uh, he thinks many also not like he has proven only he thinks this commit is flawed well it's true something is like yeah um so some reverts then let's check for bounds because truly this is memory uh, all memory bugs are found in the last 30 years like drm msm avoid divide by zero human interface device rock cut probably not the most high profile because rock cut whatever cone gaming mouse like yeah you had me at cone gaming mouse but at bounce check to cone this fs right settings because certainly don't want to uh, clobber um, kernel memory from user space s9k fixed potential use of out of bounds in S9K HTC TX completion, S6K prevent potential array overflow in at new state, media UVC video, silent shift out of bounds warning, it's like yeah, reports out of bounds stuff, and vivid global out of bounds red and pre calculate color, SIFs, uh, oh, SIFs of previous summer video of remove bogus debug code. Net schedule fix out of bounds right in IPv6 ERS pen tunnels. Uh, FBMEM at margin check and FB check capabilities of call with invalid X resolution settings struct results in a Kazan V malloc out of bounds failure and tfs at checks for mft record size and super block also yeah why you probably want to have this in multi servers and not single address space monolithic kernel written in c light nvm fix out of bonds right in array devices info memory brcm stb something who knows whatever that is overrun the error text array <laughs> timeout conditions like error text array it's like yeah probably print f in Pin control something S390 because BPF Berkeley packet filter JIT. Um, it's a super amazing idea to just in time code generate stuff in your single address based monolithic Linux kernel, fix multiple take holds of in order branch around take holds due to out of bounds index and exceeding take call count of uh, missing take call target JIT users. Nah. And what do we usually I write? Um, also DRF, um, because for sure they already found all the pointer dereference stuff of DMA, direct fixed potential null pointer dereference, um, firmware arm SM, 
uh, CMI fix null pointer dereference in Mailbox Gen 3. Remote proc MediaTek fix null pointer dereference and null SCP pointer. You would think this is a super amazing, also, yeah, why super amazing reviewed a thousand people and stuff and mm fix race during thp splitting which is a generic memory management stuff of um i i think i need to recompile my kernel and um see you in some minutes f2fs reject case fold you know what flex without case fold feature of uh, null pointer deref in range of eh. MTD, raw NAND, disable clock on error, handling pass and probe of avoid potential null pointer. Dereference RDMA, RT, RS, SRV, also uh, 2020, so much abbreviation, I don't even freaking know what it is about. Um, but at least it's a null pointer dereference occurs during RDMA bind operation. And then guess how many pointer stuff is in the binary only blob that is Microsoft Windows in the NVIDIA driver. File system fix null pointer dereference due to data race and prepend path. MT60 is a possible null pointer. I, I guess you get the idea. I've done this a couple of times. It's not funny anymore. Hey, there was also used BXHCI. Don't create endpoint debug FS entry before ring buffer is set of theory. Something could have read the debug FS tile and cause a null pointer dereference error as ring pointers was not yet set. I guess you get the idea um, in case you're wondering IMA fix no pointer, video FB def SES fix no pointer dereference um, and, and so on and, and so on. Um, not, not to say that I would never make bugs, but at least I know I will make bugs and I want them not in a single dress space and in single separately failing and restartable and debuggable and potentially not, certainly not in C and in the long term, maybe not C++. Anyway, I hope you learned something, including that the Linux kernel has quite some bugs. Oh, there's also KVM, SVM, initialized previous GA tech before use. This triggers a no pointer dereference also in case you were running KVM in production. But um, also KVM and VMX reset segment cache when suffering guest segments. In case you were running virtualization code is in the meantime virtually bug free. Apparently it is not. I have some Linux kernel to recompile. I guess um, we can start this already here um, because I uh, certainly need some bugs fixed. Okay, we have tempfs enabled and can oh, also we need SVN up because we did stuff on other machines and then emerge missing or depths none of Linux because they were couple of too many bucks for my taste fixed. Anyway, I hope you learned something from all this stuff and I hope to see you soon for all the next videos, tinkering and commentary and uh, stuff to come here and the more live channel.